the word that comes from the Lord is King Josiah. King Josiah is, uh, was a great king who returned back to Jehovah with all of his heart and all of his soul and with all of his strength. Um, this is found in 2 Kings chapter 23, verse 25. And I quote, There was no king like him prior to him who returned to Jehovah with all of his heart and with all of his soul and with all of his strength according to all of the laws of uh, according to all of the law of Moses nor did anyone like him rise up after him the lord is saying that uh, his church has steered away from him has combined idol worship with him and that uh, for them to repent uh, and if not he is rising up another Josiah that, uh, or many Josiahs that will cleanse his temple, that they will be after the very heart of God and they would return to Jehovah with all of their heart, with their soul, and with their strength. And for them to follow uh, the commands of the Lord. For what does Baal and Jesus have to do with one another? What is there with paganism and idol worship have to do with Jesus Christ? What is there between the godly and the ungodly? What do they have in common? That is what the word of the Lord says. To not place him among idols or idolatry worship. And so I would say uh, be, uh, be forewarned, people of God, be forewarned that there will be a great shakening that occurs even within the churches. This is what Jehovah, the God of Israel, says. Tell the man who sent you to me, I will bring calamity on this place and its inhabitants. All the curses that are written in the book that they read before the king of Judah. Because they have abandoned me, and they're making sacrifices smoke to other gods in order to offend me? My rage will pour out on this place, and it will not be extinguished. But to the king of Judah, this is what Jehovah, the God of Israel, says. Because your heart was responsive, and you humbled yourself before God on hearing his words 